Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. I tried a lot of makeup in October and I tried to go through and think about what really stood out as must-haves that I would like to recommend for you as items that are just okay and I have a couple items that just didn't work for me. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep watching. I'm going to go through the products in the order in which I use them. Some things like blush I didn't try in October, so I'll just tell you what I have on my face. <laughs> For primers, I tried three new primers this month. I tried the Smashbox Smooth and Blur. This was recommended to me from a employee at Ulta. I also tried the Milani No Pore Zone. This one is the mattifying primer. And I also tried one from NYX, the Honey Do Me Up. I don't have that to show you because it's already gone. Spoiler alert, it just didn't work out for me. It looked great upon first application, but the oils just seemed to really go crazy that day. I tried it I would say at least five times before I decided it just wasn't going to work for me. So of these two, who is the leader? I would say Milani came out ahead. Do I love either one of them? No. I still stand in by my Cover FX primer and if someone has a recommendation for a great mattifying, smoothing primer, I would love to hear it. Moving on to foundation. I tried two foundations in the month of October. I tried the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint Foundation. Spoiler alert, I don't have that one anymore. So what do you think my ranking is going to be on that one? Not so great. Again, it was almost too thin of a consistency. I had a hard time controlling it. It was going all over the place. Uh, the other one that I tried is the Kiko Milano. This is the Nothing Matter Mattifying Foundation. And I wasn't sure about this one at first because it does have a thicker consistency, which is not my favorite. But since I got this, I haven't stopped using it. It is thicker. So what I do is I just go in very light-handed. Uh, I find that less is more with this foundation. It is a strong medium coverage and it does seem to keep my shininess at bay. So this is a winner. I would like to try more from Kiko Milano. For concealers, I tried two concealers in the month of October. I tried the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I also tried the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Neither of these are new concealers. I just never tried them. And I would say these go neck and neck. These are both very good concealers. I find myself leaning a little bit towards the Milani one. If you saw the video that I did testing Milani products, I actually did a, I actually used this as foundation, which I thought was great. It really smoothed the skin, like the way my skin looked. So I truly, I just took this Milani concealer and spot corrected just in my areas of concern and under my eyes and then powdered and it was great. So if you are the person that doesn't want to wear foundation but has a couple areas that you would like to smooth over, I do recommend. For bronzers, I tried two bronzers in October. I tried the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer and I also tried the new bronzer from LYS. They are both fantastic bronzers. I love them both, and I think different people will be drawn to the different formulas. So the Milani is super silky smooth, goes on the skin beautifully. However, I believe this is more one that you would that you would be wanting to build up. If you want, if you don't like a lot of makeup, you want to go very light-handed. You can go very light-handed with this and it just melts into the skin. It looks so smooth, wonderful. I love it. And the Liss one, same thing. Silky, smooth, it's, it's a powder, but it feels creamy going on the skin. But this one, as you can see, has much more pigment. 
and if you are like me I like just BAM and then blend so <laughs> I am NOT as much of a build up type of person I would rather hit it and then blend it in but will I continue to use this one absolutely it is beautiful I love the tone I just have to work a little bit more to get it on my face whereas this one I put it on blend and go so that is nice and this is a, a pretty affordable brand at Sephora for highlight I only tried one highlighter in the month of October and that is this beauty bakery this is a great highlighter palette you have some peachy tones some more golden tones some champagne and some pink I got this in my boxy charm and I love that you've got different tones these are beautiful again these are ones that I don't think pop immediately you have to build them up a little bit so for somebody that wants a light wash of highlight this would be great for you is this one that I'm gonna reach for over and over again probably not but I did build it up today with that pink shade and I am pleased with the way that it looks I didn't try a new blush by the way so today I have the NYX cheek kiss liquid blush on and I think it looks great with this look moving on to some random things I tried the Conair unbound curler of course I have my hair on the straighter side today but I will link that video in the description box I had the original Conair curl secret I picked up the new cordless unbound one from Conair and I loved it the, in the video it looks a little awkward I don't quite know what I'm doing the other one was a, a clip and it pulled in and the Conair unbound I had it was there was a little bit of a learning curve but it is a tube and you hold it just pull the hair down into it and it pulls it right in so I've just found that when you hold it a certain direction it's very easy to drop it in if anybody wants to see an updated video on that now that I am comfortable with that product I would be happy to do that I do recommend it my mother uh, lives with me and shares products with me as well and she loves that curling iron she finds that way easier to use than the original one that clips with the cord so thumbs up from Jenny and her mother on that one the other sort of random product that I tried was this brush set from BH Cosmetics this is their full side cheek and this was a great deal BH Cosmetics has great eyeshadows and I wanted to test out their brushes I do like them I find that I like the face brushes a little more than the eye brushes I find that I like smaller brushes so these are some of the eye brushes and the smallest one is the one you can see I, I did a little bit of that mauve color in there with this one today they are the ones that I seem to be drawn more to we talk about my perfusion my perfusion one is a little bit different it's got a little bit more of a tapered edge it's a little bit softer where this one is a little bit firmer but I will absolutely use them and I do recommend maybe not at full price but when BH has a sale grab a brush set because they these are super super soft and nice I have a couple of morphe brushes that I love but every time I use them to blend it's 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 a little uncomfortable when you get used to those soft brushes it's hard when that happens speaking of Morphe uh, I did also try their eyeshadows for the first time in many many years and I tried the truth or bear palette this one was on sale at Ulta and I thought oh just a nice neutral palette there it is I did I've used this a few times and I was quite impressed with the quality of this palette I did a mauve look I've since done some warm looks but these shadows I mean they are lovely pigmented easy to blend the shimmers are not my very very favorite that I've ever used but you can wet them and they will show up I mean I've definitely used worse but this one retails for 20 I got it on sale for 12 I believe but if you are a neutral shadow kind of lover I do recommend this palette other palettes that I tried from the drugstore we'll do drugstore and then high-end LA girl keep it playful palette if you watched that video whoo it was a struggle because this one is probably my lowest ranked one the mattes were mostly blendable but the shimmers 
I had like a love-hate relationship with. They are very crumbly, but almost wet feeling. And it, I mean, I created a beautiful look with the shadows, but it, it does take a bit of work with these shimmers. They are a wet-ish type formula, but you see that reflection, it's amazing. But I did struggle, especially with this matte right here, this brown right here, I really had a hard time blending. But for, again, I've seen these on sale. If you can pick this up on sale, they have a couple different color combinations. I have a larger LA Girl palette. palette. I do believe that this is one of the better brands that you can get at the drugstore. The next drugstore palette that I tried was from Milani. I got some great products from Milani. They had a sale where you could get, if you picked up their new mascara, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, you got this at half price. So this is a $10 palette. I got it for five and I thought that was great. I have used it a few times. I've done some looks with the purple, the blue, the green. I think I've used them all. Uh, the only thing that limits you with this pan is I believe, I mean, these two are the deepest mattes. So these, I'm more of a smoky eye kind of gal. So these are always gonna be my outside corner color. But then you have these pretty blues. This is like a teal color and the gold. And then there's a champagne over here. So, I mean, you see this, these are gorgeous jewel tones. The only thing that limits is those two mattes, but there are more neutral styles of this palette and I was just trying to expand my makeup collection that's why I got the jewel tones but I would imagine that that good formula goes across the board I am a mess okay next in line going up was this ColourPop witching hour palette I got this more for collectors I hope that this is still available I have both of the hocus pocus palettes but this one was super fun to play with. I think this is a very versatile palette. There are some gorgeous colors in here. ColourPop shimmers are a little bit easier to work with. They're mattes I never have a problem with. ColourPop is great. I love their quads. This is more of a collector's item and I had a lot of fun. I made a couple of looks. Two more eyeshadow palettes to talk about. Can you tell what I, what I love in my makeup collection? The next one is the Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis. I know I just reviewed this. I have used this maybe four or five times. I love this palette. Very, very pretty. It is completely in line with Natasha Denona quality. You can do a very simple look with this palette. Then you have your pop of color that you can put on the bottom. I think when I used it on camera, I used that green in the outer corner. You can make a few, this is not a one trick pony, you got a few different looks up your sleeve with this one. If you are looking to dip your toes into the Natasha Denona formula, I highly recommend these $25 minis. They are great and she has every different color combination, but you will notice a difference when you're blending a Natasha eyeshadow. They, they just, they pretty much blend themselves, but they are gorgeous. The shimmers are a little more subtle but very smoothing and easy to work with. And then number one for my eyeshadow palettes is right here. This Hip Dot Adams Family. I hope this is still available. Everything that I talk about, if, if it is available, I will link it in the description box below. But Hip Dot, I am a huge fan of Hip Dot eyeshadows. And they came out with this Adams Family palette that I just have had so much fun with today. I used this palette and I used the Caramia in the outer corner and then a little bit into the crease. I blended it with Seance right here, this brown. Then I took, I took this white shimmer color called Bones and blended that on the inner corner. And then I took, I cannot stay out of Cauldron. That is that inky black. I can't help it. It is just the best black I have ever experienced in my life. I was afraid of it because it looks like it has shimmer, but when you blend, it just blends away. I know there's a black shade on top of it that looks to be more matte. This Ashes looks to be more matte black, but it is not. It's more of a charcoal. It's good for blending it. So I would put that on and then blend it with that. But this palette 
I did a very dark, smoky look in my video with it, but gorgeous. If it's still available, grab it. If not, grab another palette from Hip Dot. For brows, I have two different brow products to talk about. I got this TYNT Brow and Lash Duo, and I can safely say it is a fail. <laughs> I've tried the mascara a few times. The mascara is on the one side and the mascara doesn't seem to do anything. I try to build and build and build and I get nothing. And then the brow product gives you everything. <laughs> it is so wet in there. You go to put this in your brows and you get huge glops. I used it yesterday just to make sure I was, I was confident in my thoughts. And you just, I just had glops in my eyebrows and then just worked, 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 worked to try to work it through the brows to get it through. It's just way too high maintenance. It's lovely packaging, nice weighty. It's a shame that the product didn't work out. The mascara needs more and the brow gel needs less. And then I have a little retraction. Last month I told you that I wasn't loving the NYX Lift and Snatch brow product and I am glad that I questioned myself, and I even questioned myself in the video saying that it might be a color issue, and I was right. I think I had picked up brunette or medium brown, but I went back and I switched it out for espresso, and I definitely am a fan. It really, I use this as almost like a finishing powder. I cannot do my entire brows with this. I imagine that you could, but I am not into that much work. I believe this would take, unless you have beautiful brows with just the occasional spot that needs filled in, if you only have a couple spots that you just want to throw in a couple hair flicks, then you're golden. This is all that you need. But I need my gel. I use my NYX gel to fill them in. The other brow product that I tried this month was this right here. I Soap Brow Technique. I know this came out years ago. I'm so glad that I tried it now. I don't know what I was waiting for, what took me so long, but I, I love my Benefit Brow Gel. I love my NYX Brow Glue, but why? Why, when I can go to the Dollar Tree and pick up this soap from Pears, it's a Pears Transparent Soap, and I've seen it on Walmart's website. That's where I'll list it below, but if you can get it at Dollar Store, do it. I take this a little setting spray, take my spoolie, put it in, laminate it down. I have a whole video about it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is great. New mascara that I tried this month. I, you know, I, I tried the New Lash Brow Serum a few months back and I, I do have to say that I'm liking a lot of mascaras more than I used to, so I believe that because my lashes are a little bit longer that is helping, but I've still tried mascaras that I didn't like, so the lash serum isn't the be all end all, but I do highly recommend it. If you so my point is that I have a few mascaras in my drawer that I really like. I'm liking the Essence, I'm liking the Sephora. You saw I just did my top three in every category. I'm loving the Anastasia Lash Brag. But I picked up this new Milani mascara on, that, on Milani's website, and this is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara, and I do have to say, that I love it. I get so much length and volume with this mascara. It hugs the lashes as I'm going through. First coat, I get crazy, lovely length. Second coat, that's when I get all the volume. And this eye, I had to stop because it was starting to hit the top of my eyelid. So this, I definitely, definitely recommend. Hopefully they have this at the drugstore. You don't have to order it on Milani's website but I do recommend it. And then the last product that I wanna talk about today that I tried in the month of October is this Makeup by Mario lipstick. And I've used it maybe six times and I'm so sad because it broke. You'll see in my video of me applying it that the bullet snapped. As a matter of fact, in, when I was putting it on today, it was in here rather than in here. So I'm trying to decide what I wanna do with that, about that. If you have one of the new Makeup by Mario lipsticks, please comment below if you've had any break on you because I'm just conflicted. Do I bring it back and say this is a no or do I bring it back and exchange it and get another one because maybe it was a fluke? I'm just not sure. But obviously that's the one that I have on my lips today. And then I throw a little bit of the Danessa Myricks uh, gloss, clear gloss on top. 
So that is everything. Tried a lot of good stuff, had a lot of fun. I would say most of the products that I liked were really good. There were only a couple that I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play with you again. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this fun and interesting to watch. I would love to hear your comment below if you tried something that didn't work for you or you tried one of these products that did or didn't, your opinion is, is invited. I wanna hear, we all have different experiences with makeup, I'm just sharing the experience that I had. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing before you leave. I post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, and sometimes I play with just the makeup I have, other times I play with new makeup, all the fun things. I just love to play, and I hope that you will consider joining me before you leave. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and please leave me a comment below. Let me know you were here. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.